So, uh, returning uh, from a short break uh, because um, I, at the previous, the end of the previous segment, I realized that uh, there was some problem with uh, the structure of the whole system, um, and uh, that problem actually broke the Unix saving mechanism uh, because I'm not ready for. Uh, referring to directly from unit to another unit. This is what I have uh, tried to do. Uh, but it was a mistake uh, because, um, as I realized, uh, I need two units. One is uh, the meta layer of a JDBC connection, uh, which contains the uh, definition of the JDBC connector, the service and parameters and these kind of things. And the other unit, is responsible for uh, connecting to a database by an instance of a JDBC connector. So I had to uh, refactor and practically recreate uh, the JDBC meta um, unit and the actual connector. So right now, if I return to uh, Montreux, uh, first, I update. Okay, I update the security API. But uh, if we go back uh, to the JDBC connector, we can see that uh, I have created the JDBC meta unit. And in the JDBC meta unit, I have the following entities uh, the type, the service, and attributes. Um, there were some minor changes. I have taken out the uh, database name to an, a separate attribute, and I have removed uh, the type. That's another story. I will uh, describe it just in, in just a minute. Uh, so practically, if I have this JDBC connector, as you see, I still have the... I'm sorry, I just closed the other type, so lines don't disturb so uh, we have the montreux user and password driver class the db url which does not contain the db name and uh, here we have the db name because i use the same uh, string for filtering so if we switch back to the uh, jdbc connector active init uh, function i do the same thing of course there's not no change here i collect the values of the attributes but uh, i take the db name string from uh, the db name parameter i um, build the db url by using the db url prefix and uh, postfixing with the database name user and the password were used the same way and i have a, a connection here and as i already have the db name uh, i use the db name variable here uh, in the get tables method, so I only have the the actual names. Uh, so I had two link definitions uh, previously in the JDBC connector. Uh, one was the target unit, which was a bad idea, as I realized uh, I have to use the same unit uh, for the database connector and uh, storing the actual, the actual content. That's the that's the cleanest way. And the other was that um, I have created a separate and configurable type um, for for the actual um, columns. Uh, no, sorry, <laughs> for the actual tables. But I realized that uh, these are types, um, similar types like the, the JDBC connector or whatever else. So I have to use the same way I, and I actually actually uh, create um, normal uh, dust types uh, for for each table and uh, this is why um, these things will work exactly the same way um, for for entities that I have just imported from databases <clears throat> uh, so I have removed uh, the reference handling uh, because I don't need it anymore and I use the same unit of of the the actual connector instance uh, to store the 
the responses from the database. So right now I can connect to the database and I create um, entities, type entities for each table. Uh, as you see here, uh, in the um, circular DB unit, I have I now have 18 entities uh, because uh, during the import I have created um, <clears throat> type instances for uh, every table. So actually, I, this is a type, and I can create a new actor. Um, but of course, uh, right now I don't know anything about the content of the actor of this type. So right now I, this has no real meaning. So I just just did it this, this entity. Uh, but there is a problem here uh, because if I repeat uh, the same process and uh, uh, run the connect again. As you see, just uh, did the same thing here. Uh, uh, the unit will now contain uh, another uh, instance uh, for the same table. If I repeat the process again and again, uh, the number will not grow anymore because uh, now this actual running runtime knows that uh, it has already created uh, the the type instances for for each table. I just repeated the process again, uh, but the number uh, did not change. But each time I look out and uh, start uh, Montreux all over again, it will uh, appear. Uh, new instances will appear again. That's a bad idea. Um, but I've already started to make the right um, solution uh, to this because um, actually when I create a new instance for for the type for for the table, um, the owner of that instance uh, will be the self, the actual database connector. Uh, so instead of uh, just doing it without any check. I have to create a factory which is the studio's factory. The key is a string. The value type is dust entity. tables the studios factory mm, this is not be true so I will see it order by the name and I need the create method. And this part goes over here. No, the whole thing, sorry. I will need this. set as well return table type of course I don't have this but a target type I put it up here and now it's available and all we need that I will set this to key so I have this factory and uh, 
it was a bad idea to delete code. It's always a bad idea to delete code. Sorry about that. Because I will love this ref processor again. But I could have used that one too. Never mind. So what I need here is that um, the actual types are owned by this entity. So I am looking for all the connected hmm, generic links connected owner is context ref self can I do this target ref ID and what I can do here is that the fact tables put ref ID and the value is ref of course I should just rename it because that's the um, type table type and let's table ID This is how it should work. And for the table, I will do entity table fact tables get ID. So I will do that and I think it's okay. So I can launch it again. We'll check if the initialization runs correctly. That means I should put uh -oh. no, 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 I needed the source. Oh, luckily, it can be repeated. So now the source is the Sakura film text, the ID is Sakura film text, and I put it there. So the fact tables should not do anything because I will have all the items, all the required items inside the factory. So I can let this go and 
I could get the succulent actor and everybody else, and if I just let it go, there is no break uh, hit uh, on the create breakpoint, so I can be sure that uh, there were no, no new types created. So right now I have fixed the problem that in a second of DB, uh, on every load, um, I have created new items. Right now I don't create any new items anymore. So I'm happy and I have fixed this thing. Just check it again. It runs, as you see in the console, but no change appears here. As a result, I'll change the, <laughs> the name of, of the type, of course, or something like that. I can check this. So, for example, if I want to keep a copy of this type, then I just rename it and if I now call that function then the second actor is not found so it will be created again I can just let it go and it shows that it fixed my change. I still have the second actor. I can commit my changes. And if I reload the application again, I will have the second database unit with 19 items. The XX is also here and the actor and all the others are here, and if I send the message again, it runs, but there is no more activity, it's just updated. So I'm pretty happy about that. The next question is, can I access the columns inside of the table? And I guess I can. So if I, this is my nice little code segment here that I would like to reuse again. Because result set metadata. I have the column name, column name, column type, column type, what is it, column type, or column type name, interesting, but it would be nicer to have the column type name, and I can just, uh, Column name, column type. Call type and
Okay, that looks fine. Let's say that I just log this information for the first round. What is this? is true. Now I say that um, call name So this is something that I hope it will Okay, I know that table cat is not available, so I just don't play with it anymore. Okay. Table type. Just for sure. And how about ID? Just just put it here. Just append a simple enter. Let's see how it goes. Send another me this message again. Oh. Come on, come on, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, now I would say, because I don't need the index now for anything, then I say it's a one-based index, and now I will not make any further mistake. So let's see how it goes. Varkar, 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 da 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 da. Everything is varkar. Rep generation. Table cat. What? Get. No way. This is this is not good. Oh, 
Oh, well. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Um, I have run um, on the same and the same results that oh well mm -hmm. I should need some results set okay so that's that's not how how I should do this <laughs> but instead, uh, so the problem is that I have this beautiful metadata. DBMD. So the database metadata is what I call with this get tables, but then DBMD get How can I get get tables? I get a result set. Okay. JDBC get table metadata. Hmm, that's promising. How do you do that? Database metadata. I'm happy. But then table. Types data types. Hmm, very interesting, but it is not. Database matter, the tables, 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 system tables, extra column name flow, table name pattern. Oh, wow. Get Columns. Really interesting. Okay, so it seems that I will not run the same, run this thing in the same environment as I thought I would, but the other way around. Um, get, get, no, 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 D get columns. Catalog DB name schema pattern no table name pattern no column name pattern no
and first I just dump it. Columns. Because I don't want to uh, repeat the same query all over again. I just Sorry, it's here. How about that? Actor address. City, country, table. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Again. Ding. Tight and signed. Oh, so many information. So in the stuff. That's very nice. Film category, film ID, small in time signed. Wow. And as we are here, struct column info. Procedures, foreign key columns, get primary keys, get foreign keys, get imported keys, very interesting. So, what can we do here? I'm just curious about get primary keys. Get imported keys. Pickings. Get. Okay, so if I run it again, sorry, table not specified. Oh. So I have to, okay, I just catalog, schema, table. T 
table name catalog no means creation no schema must okay so that means this part must be in here That's what I can't do here. I know that's ugly, but that's how I do the quick coding part. P keys, F keys, P keys, F keys. That's nice. Columns. I have all the information. Okay. That's uh, for the story for tomorrow. Thank you for your attention.